So I thought I would do the tattoo collector's tag that Quickend here on YouTube started, I don't know, probably like a year ago, but I'm getting around to it now. The first question is, do you consider yourself a tattoo collector? Uh, I would say yes and no. Uh, I don't get tattoos just to have more tattoos or like get specific kinds of tattoos from different tattoo artists or whatever. Um, but I mean, I collect them in the sense that I have a bunch and I want to get more. So that's a collection of sorts, I guess. Question two is, do you have a specific tattoo that turns you into a tattoo collector? I would say that the two that I have on my inner and outer uh, right ankle that I got at a studio that does these Halloween events, like you go and you pay for um, Halloween themed flash because those you know, they didn't have like a meaning, they weren't planned for a long time, they're just fun. So I think maybe I want to just keep putting, you know, sort of souvenir tattoos maybe even uh, when I travel or when studios in my area or wherever have that kind of event, like in Friday the 13th, Halloween or whatever. So I don't know if they turned me into a collector, but those might be my more collectory tattoos. Question three is, what tattoo did you have to travel the furthest to get? My Swedish baked goods half sleeve, uh, I travel, I fly to Östersund once or twice a year, which is in the north of, of Sweden from Stockholm where I live. Uh, so that's, you know, a long, a long distance to travel for a tattoo. Uh, I don't know that I would otherwise like travel far for a tattoo uh, because I know great tattoo artists in Stockholm. Uh, I've been thinking about getting tattoos when I travel, like if I'm I'm traveling for other reasons, getting like a souvenir, like a travel tattoo. Uh, I haven't yet because it's always like interfered with something else, like you know I want to get to go swimming on vacation or I don't want to travel with a big tattoo, but that might start happening one day. Question four is what tattoo did you travel the closest to? I used to live in the city in Stockholm, now I live right outside the city, and I had a studio just a couple blocks away that so I walked there. Um, yeah, that's that's the closest. Question five is what tattoo artist has tattooed you the most? And that would be Kim Adagia, uh, who used to be at Speakeasy Tattoo Parlor. Uh, she's moved now, so I'll link her Instagram. But she has done one, two, five tattoos on me. Question six, any tattoo artists that you follow that you dream of getting tattooed by? Uh, there's a bunch of tattoo artists that I follow that I like. Uh, nobody that's like a specific, you know, bucket list. Uh, if, if I was going to think of one specifically, it might be uh, Sasha Unisex. Uh, she does these amazing geometric watercolor tattoos. You've probably seen them. Um, and it's also fun because she is I think in St. Petersburg, she's a Russian artist and I'm half Russian, I speak Russian, so it'd be fun to travel, again, get a travel tattoo uh, from her, but it's not something that I've specifically like, planned. Question seven is, name two tattoos that took the longest to complete. Uh, so my cherry blossom half sleeve uh, on my, my right arm took, I think, three sessions, maybe four. And then on, on this side, the baked goods uh, half sleeve, has, I've had three sessions and I would expect probably at least two or three more. So that's definitely the longest. Question eight is a tattoo that took the longest to heal or complete. Um, I'd say, you know, they all have taken pretty much the same, same amount of time to heal. Like the smaller ones, I would say heal a little bit faster because, you know, there's fewer lines. It's a smaller trauma to the body, but on the whole, they've all healed pretty much the same. And again, the longest to complete, I'm still waiting on this, this leave. Question nine is, do you have any tattoo artists that have become your friend through tattooing? Um, probably not, like, I would consider them people that I know, like, acquaintances, not, like, super close friends. Um, I mean, you know, for me, sitting there for three or five or, you know, however many hours over however many sessions, I feel like I know them, but I'm just one of many clients uh, for them, probably. Uh, Mia Bouquet, who um, is doing my sleeve, I met her before she started tattooing me, so I would consider her sort of a friend, but not through tattooing. Uh, 
um, if that makes sense. Question 10, do you post pictures of your tattoos or not? Uh, yeah, I, I generally I post pictures um, when I get them done and then, you know, if it, if it comes up or if I feel like it, I don't post a ton of pictures of them in general. Uh, I'm not really afraid that someone's going to copy one of my tattoos because they're either sort of like generic enough that they're not like unique to me or they're so weird and specific that I don't think, you know, someone else would want to get them. I know that a couple of my small tattoos have inspired other people to get uh, similar uh, tattoos, which I just think is kind of fun. Question 11 is how do you react when someone asks to see your tattoo? Uh, with pretty much anything, you know, it's all about how someone asks. Mostly I'm fine with it, like I like my tattoos. Uh, as long as people don't, you know, start pulling at my clothes or try to like touch me and touch my tattoos. Uh, and that really mainly happens if I'm, you know, in a bar somewhere, people are drunk. I don't go out as much anymore, so it doesn't happen that often. Um, Generally, like, people are nice, people are interested, and they want to talk about it, so, um, I'm cool with it. The, o the only thing I sometimes worry about is, like, someone will ask to see a tattoo, and then maybe I'll, you know, show them more of them, or show them, like, like that I'll get too into it, so I worry that I'm annoying them, but, you know, that's more about me than other people. Question 12, when will your collection be finished? Well, like I said, like, I don't have a specific collection or with a specific goal like you know one tattoo in each continent or whatever so either you know when I run out of space or when I just don't feel like I want any more tattoos so because it's more of like a general collection thing I don't know uh, when I die I guess and question 13 who do you tag I think so many people have done this tag by now that there's nobody like in particular that I want to tag. So if you haven't done it, do it if you want to. And if you have, go you. If you have any questions or thoughts or poetry, uh, leave them in the comments below. Descriptions have links to whatever, social media, all that stuff. So. Be nice to yourself, drink some water, take a nap, and I'll see you later. Bye!